Okay, so now we're starting with nothing. So there's a couple different approaches to how you approach the grid with foundation. Um, the older style, if you're coming from maybe foundation three, um, and they integrated a mobile first into foundation four is to start with the desktop grid. And I think that's a really common way of thinking about a website. So I'm gonna demonstrate that first. So starting with the desktop grid and then adjusting, right, for mobile. So I use a plugin called Emmet on Sublime Text. It's available for a lot of different things. It allows me to very quickly develop the scaffolding uh, and the grids for foundation. So the first thing, let's just create like maybe a header across the top um, that's in a panel, um, just so we can kind of see the sim simplest part of the grid. So I'm just gonna do a dot row and a large 12 columns. And then within that, I'm going to do a panel and a H2. Okay, and we'll just call this the header. All right, so there we go. Uh, and so I think it can get a little confusing when you look at the documentation because you have all these different options and you're dealing with a 12 column grid system. And so I think the way to think about it is how can it be divided up? So often if you're doing a design, uh, use a lot of different things. So let's let's just talk about some different ways to approach it. So let's talk about a, a three column approach, right? So we'll do three columns of text underneath. So I'm gonna do dot row, dot large. And so if we're doing three columns, if you divide 12 by three, it gives us four. So we want each column to be four of our grid elements wide. And I am just gonna put some lorem text, a paragraph and then some lorem text. Uh, we'll just say 15 words. And I'm gonna add three of these just so we can start to get an idea of how this breaks down. Okay. I just had been zoomed in a little bit too bit and it was triggering the mobile media query. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so we have our three columns. And you know, one thing you can do if you wanna kind of accentuate it is you can always add a panel. And that'll just make it a little bit more obvious where those columns are. It adds a little bit more spacing in. So let's take the same approach and let's build up some other common ways of working with the grid. Okay, so we have our three column approach. And so if we wanna do a four column approach, so if we take 12 divided by four, it leaves us three, so we want three grid elements wide and we're gonna do four elements. And so it should be right below. And so we have like a three column and then a four column right below. And so, I mean, these are just some common ways in which you can use the grid that's very simple, right? And so what about like a two-thirds split? This is a pretty common thing. Everyone loves the golden ratio and it, it typically looks pretty nice. So let's build that out. So I'm gonna do a row and then a large eight columns. And let's just add a panel just so we can see. Paragraph and some warm text, 15 characters. Okay, so that's just the first part of it. And this is gonna be a little bit different in Emmet because I will need to build things out. So often when I'm using Emmet and I wanna to start to do something a little bit more complicated, I'll kind of start breaking things out individually like this. Okay, and so we'll do a large four. Okay, and what's, what's interesting about this, it's very easy if we wanna reverse the order of these. And there we go, we have a two-thirds split. Two